Hi friends, welcome to this exciting two-part workshop where I'll be walking you through how to create a digital product in a high demand niche. Now, I know how overwhelming it can feel to come up with a product idea that you're confident will actually sell. But here's the thing, this isn't just about creating another digital product, it's about creating something meaningful, something that will stand out and connect with your customers in a really personal way. Hi, if we haven't met before, I'm Alicia. I've built multiple Etsy shops, uh, digital product Etsy shops, grown my personal brand and helped thousands of creators turn their ideas into successful digital products. And I do all of this while raising my two little girls. So trust me when I say I get how busy life can be. But I also know this, when you create a digital product that's unique, in demand, it can change everything. It can open doors to flexibility, freedom, and the joy of seeing your ideas come to life and resonate with real people. That's why I am so excited to share this with you. Today, we are diving into a product idea that's not only incredibly popular, but also totally unique. It combines two of Etsy's hottest niches, weddings and pets. And yes, it's customizable, ding, ding, ding. Now, what's even more exciting is that sellers offering this kind of product that I'll share with you in just a moment are making upwards of $7,000 per month. And I'm going to show you how you can do this exactly step by step. So by the end of this video, you'll know how to research the market, find inspiration and design a product step by step using one of my favorite tools, Kittle. This isn't just about watching another tutorial, it's about taking action and I promise that if you follow along, you'll walk away with a product idea that you are so excited to launch. Now stick with me until the end because I'm also going to be sharing how you can grab a full breakdown of all of these steps in a really handy Notion document, as well as a special discount code to try Kittle out for yourself. So my friend, this is your chance to get ahead, stand out and start creating something truly amazing. Let's go ahead and dive on in. Now, before we start designing, we need to make sure that this product idea is worth pursuing. So let's start with some market research. Now, before we get into all the details, you're probably wondering, well, Alicia, what is this product that you're talking about? And the product is actually custom wedding drink signs with personalized details and most importantly, a picture of their pet or pet's portraits. Pretty cool, right? So to do my research, the first thing I like to do is hop onto Etsy and just search for terms like custom wedding bar signs or pet wedding decor. As I scroll through the results, I'm looking for bestsellers and trending items. These are gold mines of inspiration and proof that customers are loving and buying these products. And to make my um, Etsy research process even easier, I use a tool called Everbee. It's my go-to for spotting what's trending on Etsy right now. Everbee actually helps me to analyze sales data. It helps me find um, performing keywords and also zeroes in on what's working for other sellers. If you haven't tried Everbee yet, be sure to go ahead and check it out. It's really, really, it's a really good tool and it's a big time saver. All right, so now when it comes to creating something unique, Personalization on Etsy is huge. Customers love being able to add their pet's portraits, names, or um, custom drink titles to a design. It's these personal touches that make products like this really stand out. I also like to explore products that align with this idea. For example, I found amazing listings like a dog themed signature drink sign a bar sign featuring pets and a his and hers cocktail menu, just for some ideas and inspiration. These are all creative and take on the same concept and show how versatile this idea can be. Okay, so once you've got your idea and inspiration nailed down, it's now time to get designing. I'm going to show you how to create a custom wedding sign that will wow your customers and maybe even wow you too. So let's start by deciding what to include in the design. For these signs, I love to feature elements like the pet portrait, a drink name like perhaps the Bella Margarita, or a fun drink description, and of course, the bride and groom's names or the couple's name, along with their wedding date. 
Now here's why I absolutely love using Kittle for designs like these. Their fonts are next level gorgeous and with built in ligatures and text effects that instantly give your work that polished professional feel. With Kittle, it's like having a secret weapon for creating standout designs. They also make it super easy to experiment with colors, layouts and overall style. So everything really feels cohesive and high quality and super unique. But what really sets Kittle apart for me over any other design surf software for this project specifically is the ability to create top-notch print files. You can easily set large poster dimensions and adjust the DPI to ensure that your designs look crisp and perfect when printed. And because these custom wedding signs will likely be printed at like a really big scale, having that control over the print quality is super important. Trust me, this feature is a total game changer. So for part of today's design, we're actually going to use Kittle's super cool AI image creator tool that makes unique clip art for the cocktails and drinks featured on the sign. I'm super excited to share this with you because Kittle's AI makes it really easy to create custom one of a kind elements that really bring your designs to life. If you know what you want to design, really AI, uh, Kittle's AI can make it happen for you. It's such a fun and simple way to add an extra touch of creativity to your work and I know you're going to love it. All right, now quickly, let's go ahead and talk about the pet portrait. Now you can totally keep it simple. Just upload your customer's image and then use Kittle to remove the background and then you can call it a day. But if you really want to take your design to the next level, adding a watercolor like artifact to the portrait will make it pop and beautifully complement the cocktail clip art that we're going to create in Kittle. Now for this step, I use a tool called Be Funky. And let me tell you, it is worth the extra money that you have to pay for this tool. Now Be Funky takes a standard pet portrait and will transform it into a gorgeous watercolor style image. This extra touch will elevate the entire design and will give you a premium artistic vibe that customers are going to love. Plus Be Funky makes it really easy to move the background and then crop the image so that they fit seamlessly into your layout on Kittle. Now I haven't found another tool that does the water effect um, quite like Be Funky does. So if you're looking to add that extra wow factor to your designs, I would highly recommend checking it out. Um, I will leave a link to Be Funky in the description box below. Okay, so once you have edited the pet portrait, you've created your cocktail clip art and pulled everything together in Kittle, You'll want to play around with the different text effects and colors to make the designs pop. Now, don't worry about getting it perfect on the first try. This is your chance to have fun and get creative. Okay, so now that we know the whole entire process of what we need to do, let's go ahead and jump on over to Kittle and Be Funky together. I'm going to walk you through every step of the process from creating the cocktail clip art, choosing the right fonts to place um, on the pet portrait, and then finalizing the layout. So by the end of this section, you'll have a beautiful custom wedding sign ready to go. Okay, so if you are brand new to Kiddo and you haven't yet got an account set up, go ahead and click the link in the description box below and use my special code to grab your discount. Um, and then once you're all signed up and ready to go, um, just head on over to your dashboard and let's start our brand new project. Okay, so the very first thing we're going to do for these custom uh, wedding signs is we are going to create the cocktail drink clip art. So we are going to do that using the Kittle AI. So let me show you that entire process. And this is the, the, the way that I would do it because if you are going to you know, do something similar to what I'm creating here, you're going to want to create um, probably, you know, 20 or so different cocktail clip arts so that your customers have a choice of what they want to select. Um, and then in the future, if, you know, you are missing a few of these different cocktails that your customers are requesting, then you can go ahead and, um, you know, create new ones as you go along. But for now, um, let me share with you how you can do this using Kittle. All right, so just go ahead and go to add new project. So we'll go and open up a brand new uh, project for this clip art. Okay, so now for this project, we want to choose our own artboard size. So here under artboard size, what I first want you to do is change the resolution to 300 DPI because we want this to be nice, high quality print. And we just want to reduce the size here to about 2000 by 2000. Anywhere between 2000 and 3000 would be fine for this. Making sure that it's a square format and let's go ahead and click create. So now what you're going to do and see in your account is this artboard. 
Now, in order to create multiple clip hearts, what I would recommend doing is maybe creating a whole range of different artboards. So if you wanted to do 20 different clip arts, I would create 20 different artboards and that way you can save them uh, and that way you can save the actual clip art within each artboard. So what I would do is I would just select the artboard here where it's got artboard one. So go ahead and click that. And then you're going to find this duplicate button. So then I would just go ahead and duplicate that as many times as I would like. For this example, I'm just going to do four um, and then uh, we'll see how it all works out from here. Okay, so once you've got your artboards, Let's go ahead now and create our clip arts for our cocktail drinks. Now in the handy document that I created um, that you can access within the description box below, I've actually got a list of 20 popular cocktail um, names and also the ingredients that go with them. So if you want, you can use that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open that up now. So here under the bonus, I've got a list of 20 popular cocktails and ingredients. So I'm just going to go ahead and just copy the very first one here. So we've got margarita. I'm going to go back to Kittle and I am going to go to Kittle AI here in the left hand side. Click on that. And then here you're going to see image generator. So let's go ahead and select image generator. And then here I'm going to describe the image. So I'm just going to put in here a margarita cocktail. Oops. Spell that right. There we go. So we want to create a margarita cocktail. And then if we scroll down, you can get a few different image styles. Now I've played around with some of these image styles already. Um, sorry, the clip art styles. That's what we want, the clip art styles. Um, so I've played around with these already and I found the best one that works well for this project is the watercolor style. So go ahead, click on watercolor style and then generate image. And it's going to use one of your credits. So let's go ahead and click generate image. And then in a couple of minutes, it's going to create our clip art for our margarita cocktail. There we go. So let's go ahead and drag this over to artboard one. Let's go ahead and resize it. This looks so good. Okay, so there is our first cocktail. So I would just, you know, get this as close to the border as possible of the artboard. Let's scroll on in. Now it appears that there is a background here. You can just see, see how it's just an off-white color. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we are removing the background of that. So that way when we are layering our pet portrait images with our cocktail, that it's not going to, um, you know, overlap with this uh, white you know, background. So go ahead, select the clip art and then just go to AI background remover. And then Kittle is going to remove the background for us in just a couple of seconds. Fantastic. So that background has been removed. You can also just center it by using these buttons here. So center here and then middle here. Perfect. All right, let's move on to the second one. So here under our document, I've got a martini, so let's go ahead and copy that. I'm gonna go back to Kittle. I'm going to go to the AI image generator and now I'm going to paste in martini. Again, I am going to select watercolor for the clip art style and then generate image. And here is our martini. Now, if you're ever not 100% happy with um, the image or the clip art that's been created, you can always rerun it again. So let's go to a martini cocktail and I'm just going to go generate image again and see what comes up. See if it comes up with a different style or a different look for the martini. Here we go. So here's a bit of a different one. I actually prefer the second one that we created. So I'm going to just delete that one. And then we're going to drag that across. Now this one, I just want to check is the background. Yes, so you can see that that's got that white background. So let's go ahead and remove the background by going AI background remover. Fantastic, now the background is removed. Again, I'm just going to resize it like so. I'm gonna do that for the next two. Um, and then once that's all done, I'm gonna share with you how you can save these. Um, and then have them ready for your um, custom wedding signs. Okay, so I've got my four different cocktails here all ready to go. So 
when you're happy with however many cocktails you want to create, I would recommend, like I said, creating around about 20 of these. That way you can display them within um, one of your Etsy listing images for um, your customers to select which one they would like. Um, yeah, so once you're happy with all of those, all you need to do is go ahead and download them without um, the background. So making sure that you uh, select the transparent background. So to do that, all you need to do is go to the download button here. You want to make sure that all artboards are selected. The width, height and resolution should be all set, ready to go. And then we want to go to remove background and then go ahead and download. And that's going to download to your computer. Okay, so pretty simple, right? Now you've got your um, cocktail clip arts ready to go. The next step is to create our custom pet portraits. Now, obviously, you're not going to be able to know what kind of pet portraits you are going to create until you actually have the pet portraits themselves from your customers. But what we want to do is we want to make some examples and show off what we can create and what we can do with our customers' pet portraits by displaying them within, within our Etsy listing images. So for this, we are going to use a tool called Be Funky, um, and this is going to help us create our pet portraits with a watercolor style to match our cocktail drinks here. Okay, so let's jump on over to Be Funky now and I'm going to share with you how you can actually create these uh, pet portraits. Now, just quickly, I thought I would mention that before we jump on over to Be Funky to create our pet portraits, you are going to need a couple of examples of some pets to create these watercolor effects. So to do that, you can actually grab a couple of stock images from Kittle themselves using their image library. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another artboard. Just go ahead and select the artboard. I'm just going to go duplicate on that. I'm just going to clear out what we've got here. And now I'm going to find a um, image of a pet, so a dog or a cat. So I'm just going to go to the search bar here and I'm going to go uh, maybe like cute dog. Doesn't matter what breed or type, but as long as it's um, a dog that we can actually remove the background of, um, it'd be great if we can find something that's got the full um, body of the dog or of the pet. Um, and then we can remove the background and do some fun watercolor effects with it. So I'm just going to go through them now. Okay, so we've got this one and I'm going to create one more. So I'm going to go duplicate on that. We are going to delete that one out. Select another one. You can choose cats if you like instead of dogs. Just going to have a better look at it like this and maybe this one. Okay, that's good. And let's just make this one a little bigger. And that way when we take the background off, the pet is as big as possible. Fantastic. Okay, now I'm going to save these both as PNGs. So I'm going to go to download. I'm going to go to artboards. I'm going to unselect all artboards and just select five and six and go um Remove background. I'm going to leave that as is. You can use Kittle to remove the background, but I'm actually going to do this in Be Funky. So I'm just going to go to normal on that and go download. Okay, so those have been downloaded. So now let's jump onto Be Funky to create our watercolor effect and also remove the background. Okay, so I'm going to leave a link to access Be Funky within the description box below so you can go check it out. I've also got it inside of the handy document as well that you can also download. So in order to get started with Be Funky, all you need to do is go to open and let's go ahead and open up those images that we just created. Now with Be Funky, you have to do this one at a time. You can't do multiple images at the same time. So just open up the first pet and then open up the second pet and then just repeat the process. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now by going to my computer. Okay, so now I've got the first image open. Now what I need to do is I first need to remove the background. So in order to do that, under here, the left hand side, we've got a few different options. What you want to do is go to the edit option, scroll all the way down until you find background remover and then go ahead and click on background remover to remove the background. Now, sometimes um, you might need to make some 
uh, adjustments to the background remover to get it just right. Um, but as you can see here with just one click, this has done this very, very well. So if you do need to make any adjustments, you can do so by going to adjust selection and then going to remove and then removing anything that you want using your mouse or you can um, do the keep. So let's say it removed a little bit too much of the leg here, for example, you can also reselect that um, so that it's not removed with the background. Okay. So I'm really happy with the way that that looks. So I'm going to go apply. And now that background has been applied. Now let's go on over to the fun part of this project. And that is creating the watercolor effect of our pet portrait. So now to do that, all you need to do is go and over to the left hand side here and you want to find the artsy tab so go ahead and click on artsy and then here is where you can start making some adjustments to your image to make it more fun um, and have a certain art type effect on it now with be funky you can do a whole range of other things as well you can do edit touch-ups of your images cropping um, so much more like color effects and all that but what I love about Be Funky are these artsy effects. Now, as you can see, there are like dozens of different artsy effects. So, and then within each of these are even more customization options. Um, but for this example, I'm gonna share with you how you can create a watercolor effect. So at the top here, we've got the GFX series. Go ahead and click on that. And then you're gonna get a few more different options. As you can see, we've got all these different artsy kind of effects. But what we're looking for is the watercolor effect. I would highly recommend going and checking out all of these different options, play around with them to see which style suits you and also what suits the clip art files that you have created within Kittle. For me, I like the watercolor effect. Um, another one that I actually liked and um, was close to using as well, uh, I think was the impressionist or even the cartoonizer the sorry cartoonizer um, that makes it more like a cartoon effect all right but um, for today's project let's go ahead and use the watercolor effect so I'm going to go ahead on watercolor P funky is going to do its thing and then here we can see this watercolor effect has been applied to our pet portrait. Now you can adjust um, the settings of this by going to adjust. So you can adjust how much of this is actually being created. So how much of like an overlay watercolor effect you want. I'm just gonna leave it as a hundred because I really like that watercolor effect. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And then just like that, we have created a watercolor effect for our pet portrait. To go ahead and save this now, all you need to do is go to the save button at the top and then save to your computer and then that will be saved to your computer. Then all you need to do is grab the second image that we created in Kittle, upload that and do this exact same process um, to create the watercolor effect of our second pet. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so that is the process of how to use Be Funky to create your custom pet portraits. So when you are doing this for your customer, what you're going to do is you're going to grab your customer's pet portrait, so their actual pet themselves, the image that they supply via Etsy messages or email, and then you're going to bring their images within the Be Funky editor and then edit their photos. When you are first doing this though, when you are creating your initial listings, you want to have some examples. So this is the reason why we're doing this now with some, um, with some stock images of some pets so that we can showcase what we are actually going to create for the customer once they make an order. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start actually creating the actual poster design. So the custom wedding pet poster using Kittle. Now under here, under the document that I created for you under the bonus, I've got a recommended design size. So for the initial design of the signed poster, I would recommend starting with a 24 inch by 36 inch artboard. Now that's quite large. And the reason for that is that if your customer wants to print it at a large scale, they can without losing the quality and then it's really easy to scale down from there. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to Kittle now and we'll create a brand new project um, using these dimensions. So let's go back to Kittle. We're going to go to add new project. So again, we want the resolution to be nice and high. And this time we actually want to select, um, instead of pixels, we want it to be in inches. 
So let's go to width, which was go back 24 by 36, 24 by 36, 300 DPI and the size is in inches. Let's go ahead to create. All right, perfect. So now our artboard is created. Now, when it comes to designing the actual sign itself, you can do whatever you like here, really. But what I would recommend is going back to the research that you did initially and have a look at what the designs out there already have. What kind of fonts are they using? What kind of design style? How's the layout? What kind of information are they including on the actual design and poster itself? So knowing this and knowing what you've seen, use this as inspiration to go ahead and then create your own unique design. So what I would start doing to create the design is I would start bringing in those elements that we created. So the cocktails themselves and then also those pet images, the, um, the watercolor pet portraits that we created. So I'm going to go ahead and um, just upload those now. So to do that, you can just go to the upload section here and then just go to um, add new folder. I would probably do that. So that way you've got, um, you know, a, a handy place to find all of the images that you need for this project. So I'm going to go to add new folder. I'm going to call this custom wedding pet sign. I'm going to open that up and now I'm going to drag in um, all of those uploads or you can just go ahead and upload here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I've got all of my images uploaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select two of these. So I'm going to obviously grab my pet portraits here. So I'm going to select those and I'm just going to maneuver those around like so. We can change the size of these in just a moment. Okay, I am going to select maybe a whiskey sour and maybe this one here, the mojito, I think this was. Very good. So select whatever, whatever cocktail you like the look of best. Okay, let's go ahead and resize these. So now that we've got our pets and our cocktails examples ready to go, I'm just going to move these around. So what I'm thinking is having the title at the top here, so um, signature cocktails perhaps, and then the actual name of the pet. So I'm just going to give an example of a pet name, the ingredients of the cocktail um, just below that. So I'm going to have that here and here, and then the name of the couple, and then also the date of the wedding. Okay, so now to add in text elements, all you need to go do is go to the text button here and then go to add a headline or what you can do is you can actually select some of the already pre-made designs here so you might want to go to something like title so if we go show all you might want to pick something like this so now depending on what kind of fonts you want you might want a, um, a script font with a you know a, a fancy title font as well and then also the body font so something like this might be great so let's go ahead and select that. Very good. So here, let's go ahead and ungroup these so we can move them around. I'm going to have this as the ingredients, this as the signature drinks. Now, what I love about Kittle is that you have lots of flexibility when it comes to customizing your fonts. And they also have what's called ligatures, which means that you can change the style of the actual letters themselves to give them a more fun effect. So, for example, at the moment, I feel like if we go to ligatures and turn that off, you can see. OK, let's zoom in so we can see that. So this A actually changed. So if I go now to ligatures, you can see how that's changed. And depending on what font you use, there's actually multiple different ligatures that you can select. So for example, I know that this font here, Mogan, actually has a whole range of different ligatures. So we can change the R, the O, the M, the U, and even the A here. Select it. And if I highlight the R, we want to delete that. And let's say we wanted a different ligature, just go to the glyphs here and then search, search for R. 
And then here are all the different examples of the R. So we could do something like this if we wanted to give it a little bit more flair. So that's what I love about it. Not only that, you've got lots of flexibilities when it comes to actually changing the shape of the um, font box itself. If you wanted the uh, title on more of an angle, you can do that. Um, so let me share with you how you would do that. So select the title or the font box. Scroll down until you see transformation, click on the plus button, and then here are all the transformation options. So and by default, it's already given me the angle. You can do a custom, you can do arch, you can do rise, wave, flag, so something that goes up and down, but I prefer um, angle. I think that gives probably the best effect. Okay, so then what I would do is I would come up with some examples of a name for each of the pets, and then I would add in all of the ingredient details. At the bottom here, I would go ahead and add in the couple's name here. So let's copy and paste that. First, we'll pop that there and then we'll paste it again. And here we're going to put the couple's name and date. Okay, so then you would just adjust this. You can adjust all of your settings here. So the alignment, again, the alignment, so that it's like so. Again, let's change the alignment and then make sure that that's all. Okay, so I'm just going to add in a few more details here and change it up a little bit. In the design process, what I would do is I would try different designs. So what I would do is I would copy this clipboard, uh, just go duplicate. And then if I like the style of that, but maybe I don't like this um, script font at the top, leave it as is and then go ahead and just edit the duplicate of this to see what that looks like. That way you've got two different versions that you can compare and go, okay, actually, maybe I like this second artboard more than the, th uh, the first artboard. Then go ahead and create a third artboard, change the layout of it. Maybe you want it to look a little bit different, the format of it. Maybe you want to change the font or perhaps you want the couple's name and the date of the uh, wedding at the top rather than the bottom. So that's how you would work and design and um, use this artboard features within Kittle to really make an outstanding design. Really try and put as much emphasis and work into these initial designs because these are what are going to showcase on your mock-up images and also within your Etsy listing images. And these are the images and these are the designs that are going to really stand out on Etsy and really capture your customer's attention. Okay, so work on it. Um, make sure that, you know, you check out all of the different um, design features and elements within Kiddo itself that you can use. Perhaps maybe you want like a border around um, the actual design itself. So perhaps um, we could do that by going to elements go to basic shapes and go show all. And then what you could do is you could perhaps select um, a box, change the shape of it so that it goes all the way around our design here, like so, drag this out. Let's go to um, a border. Let's go to border weight. Yeah, let's go five on that. And the actual opacity or the color of it inside, perhaps we could do it like an off-white. Let's change the border weight to 10. And let's go ahead and send that to the back. So right click and then go to back. And then maybe we can adjust everything in our design to fit within this artboard. So I'm going to go center and center, whoops. Then I would go ahead and move all of this in, perhaps make that smaller, make sure that the font sizes match here. I'm gonna change this font. And we're gonna get rid of the transformation on that one. Okay, so you can see how this is really coming along nicely. Make sure you're adjusting everything. Now I'm going to add in some extra details here. So I'm just going to call this the Bonnie. 
I'm going to add my ingredients here. So go back to our document and I believe that was the whiskey sour. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that. Go back to Kittle and then add in my ingredients here. I'm going to remove optional and just put in egg white. I'm going to do the same for this. So this was the daiquiri, I think it was. Margarita. Copy. I'm going to just pop that like that. Now we can actually adjust the um, letter spacing. So maybe we only want like 100 for the letter spacing and 100 here. Whoops. 100 here. Very good. Fantastic. So we can see how this is coming along really nice. And you can see now the difference between our first artboard, if I can scroll out. So the difference between our first artboard that we created here and now our second artboard, it's looking a lot more refined. Okay, so have a play around with all the different options. And once I've cleaned this up a little bit, um, made it a bit more refined, I'm going to share with you what my final design looks like. Okay, so here is my final design. So I've created the signature drinks menu. I've got my custom pet portraits in the watercolor style. I've got the names of my pets here. So I've got the Bodhi, which is an Agroni. I've got the Lola, which is a daiquiri. And then I have the couple's names, so Olivia and Benji at the bottom, and then the date of the wedding. I've also included a couple of extra elements here just to break it up a little bit and make it a little bit more interesting. So as you can see, we've taken the inspiration from our market research that we did at the beginning of the video and now we have created our own unique design. If you wanted to, you could do things like offer different fonts if you like, you could offer different style for the clip art, so like different um, like painting styles. If you want to do more like an oil painting rather than watercolor painting, you could do that. And that is how we create our custom wedding portraits using Kittle. Okay, my friends, so that is it for part one. You now know how to research this niche or a similar niche and design a stunning custom wedding sign that combines two of Etsy's most popular trends, weddings and pets, and also the customization part. Okay, so if you're excited to try this out for yourself, I've got something special for you. Kittle is my go-to design tool for creating products just like these. So if you want to get started today, be sure to use my special link and code AliciaYT, that's A-L-I-C-I-A-Y-T, to get 25% off your first month or first year on all paid plans. You will find all the uh, details in the description of this video. So go ahead, click the link and grab your discount. Also, I've created a full breakdown of all of the steps that we've covered today in this video in a handy Notion document. So if you'd like to go ahead and grab this super helpful document to guide you through the process, you'll find a link in the description box below. Okay, now don't forget part two will be released real soon where we'll take your design to the next level by creating mock-ups, setting up your Etsy listing, and then streamlining your order fulfillment process. This part is super important to make sure that your customer is getting the best product. So be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss when it's released. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in part two. Bye for now.